Alright, so in this video I'll be going over the barrel shapes for CSP. So, this is the first one, uh, which is the simplest, barrel, barrel. Uh, the tracing is the same uh, for each side. Actually, this should be inverted like that. Um, yeah, so the way you do the even uh, algorithm is the same as you would normally do. You would uh, just do a th slash, three, three, slash. And uh, to do the odd algorithm, what you would do is you do a 2 1 to turn this into a scallop scallop. And now you can do a, uh, a 3 shift, corner shift of these uh, corners to uh, change the parity. And then you can solve scallop scallop the normal way uh, to get to do the odd parity. <clears throat> now, for an example, starting with this, we'll go 1. Two, three, four, five, uh, five, um, and then starting with this six, seven, eight, starting with this nine, ten, eleven. So in this case, we have odd parity, which means I would turn this barrel barrel into a scallop scallop, like that, and then uh, shift those corners, and then solve normally. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this case is scalp barrel. So the way you would do the even algorithm um, is you would first turn this into a shield shield like that and then proceed to do shield shield normally like that. Now to do the odd algorithm, because you turn into shield shield like that, um, you can affect parity by shifting these six corners like that and that's how you do the uh, odd algorithm and then just do shield shield uh, normally from there now as an example trace let's start with this edge one two three four five uh, six seven eight nine ten so we have even parity so that means I could do a uh, shield shield go to shield shield normally without affecting uh, the corner parity. Alright, the next one is going to be shield barrel. Now, I already covered this uh, in a previous video where I went over muffin kite, but I'm going to go over this case again anyway. So, the way you do this case is by turning this barrel into a shield and then doing shield shield from there. But it sort of depends on whether you put this edge in the front or the back like this. So if you want to do the even parity algorithm, you would need to put this two group in the front to, when you turn it into a shield. And then do a shield, shield like normal. Um, for the odd algorithm, uh, you would need to put this in the back instead. And you still have shield, shield, but this time it's going to be odd parity. Now as an example trace, We'll start with this edge right here, and then this will be red, it'll be red, green, orange, blue, like that. So, starting with this one, uh, two, three, <coughs> and then four. Starting with this five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, I have even parity, so I would need to bring this two group to the front, like that. Next we have paw barrel, and um, which again tracing is the same. So to do the even algorithm for <coughs> paw and barrel, um, you just use the standard scallop kite method. So you would put this two group there, and now you have a line of edges and this two group, which can make a kite like that. And then the scallop kite can be turned directly into cube shape. So that's the even algorithm. Uh, this odd algorithm sort of defers. Uh, from what I what was originally in the document, and I found a slightly different way to do it. I don't know if it's better, but I like it sort of. So I would instead take this two group and combine it with this one edge, and I would now do a two on the layer containing a two group, 
and then a 1 on the other layer. And now this way I can create a scallop and a 2 group like that and with a line. So now I can just use scallop height from there. So that's my odd algorithm. Um, it's the same for the other paw. So for this one you can just do um, the scalp kind method for even and then or you can use um, the other method for um, the odd algorithm. This is I'm just demonstrating the odd algorithm right now on this. Um, to demonstrate, I forgot to pre-scramble my square one. So um, this case. So I would start with this since this is already solved. Uh, one, two, three. Three for edges. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have ten in total. So I would just do the standard scalp cut method for the even algorithm. There we go. Alright, <clears throat> so the next case we have here is a muffin barrel. Uh, so basically doing both the even odd algorithms are going to be the same method, uh, just a little different. So the basic method is to first turn this into a scalp muffin like that, and then this muffin can be turned into a kite very easily, like that. Uh, but it depends on whether you put the this three group of the muffin in the front, or you put in the back like that. So for even algorithm, what you want to do is put it in the front and then do this entire method, do that method. And for odd, you want to put this in the back. And so then to do that, you would first turn it into a scallop muffin, move it to the side, and then get that into the kite. And that'll give you odd parity if you do it. So I'll do an example trace, starting with this. One, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I have odd parity. So since that's odd parity, I'll put this three group in the back like that. And then use this method. Make sure it has, yeah, it has even parity. All right, and the last case we have here is going to be fist barrel. And to do fist barrel, uh, you're basically gonna, it's gonna be three slices away from scalp scalp. So I'll just demonstrate with this here. One, two, three, like that. And so both the even and odd algorithms will have that same method, but it's going to be a little different. So this, this is where it gets a little tricky. For even, you're going to turn into a uh, scallop scallop, but you're going to do the six corner shift here. This is for the even algorithm, not for the odd algorithm. And yeah, for the odd algorithm, you would do the same thing without the six corner shift. So I'm not going to shift them, I'm just going to directly uh, solve scallop scallop. And it works for the other fist. So for even, you would go to scallop scallop and then shift like that. And for the other algorithm, you wouldn't do that same uh, six corner shift. So I'll do one trace here, starting with this. One, two, three, four. Four for edges, start this. Five, six, seven, start this. Eight. So I have eight in total, which means I have uh, <clears throat> even parity. So I would probably flip it around like this. And then so I would go to scallop scallop, but since I have even parity, I would do the corner shift like that. And that should give me no parity. Yep, no parity. 
So that's all the barrel shapes um, in this video. In the next video, I'll probably cover scallop shapes. Yeah, see you guys.